Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Today I'm up in the Willamette National Forest and I'm right on the border, close to the border of the Middle Santiam Wilderness. And I've got a special assignment today. I'm gonna to be setting up for the very first time my new tent, my white duck regatta. White duck gave this to me in exchange for featuring it on my videos. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Uh, it's got a 13 foot footprint. It's a bell shape, a yurt shape, if you will. Uh, short, straight sides, and then the peak in the middle with the central pole. So bear with me here. I'm gonna put you on time lapse and I'm gonna set this thing up. It should take me in real time about 20 minutes to a half hour. All right, here we go. Well, my goodness, that's certainly not perfection, but I certainly chose some rocky ground. <laughs> you know, um, let me take you inside, show you what it looks like. Okay, yes, it does look a little lopsided. That's me, it's not the manufacturer. And you know, you get off to the side and it doesn't look that bad. But I could not get some of these pins into the ground. I mean, there's a thin layer of soil on top of boulders here. Okay, here you are. So this is a 13 foot footprint. Plenty of room for me and the girl. Lots of room to stand up. It's about an eight and a half foot peak is what I'm told. And the wall height is, uh, what was it? 27 inches, something like that. All right, so the next step is to get things set up here. So let me show you just a couple of the features here. I have some pockets for storage. Over here, this is the electrical cord. What do you want to call it? Port. There's some ventilation windows. One, two, three and the door all right so pockets on both sides of the door and this is the stove jack yes this is a four season tent and i do plan on getting a wood stove and i'm gonna get much better at pitching this thing too all right let's get things set up and we'll start some dinner White Duck Regatta 13. It's 13 because it's 13 feet across the base. A little rug there to wipe my feet when I get in. This is the stove jack. There you go, that's a fireproof material there. And you can cut the opening to the size of the stove pipe for the system. Four vents up at the top. All right, so I've got the basic set up inside. Let's take a look. I got my doggie's bed. I've got my bed. Sitting up on a cot, and I brought in my table and my chair. Comfort. And this is my Rock Pals 500 watt solar generator, I guess they're called. Look out, here comes the light. Oh my goodness. That makes very handy to have inside a tent at night. I can charge my devices. Uh, I can read by the light. You know, it's just, it's marvelous. I like that little thing and it's so darn portable too. 
Anyway, she's had a long, hard day. She's ready for bed. And I'm going to cook myself some dinner. Since it's getting late, I'm going to have one of my dehydrated meals. I got camp's kitchen set up over here. No fires right now. We are in fire season. Propane stoves are fine. Open flame is not. So I need a quick and easy dinner tonight. So I'm going to use one of the new Mana dehydrated meals. That is the enchilada beans and rice. Now my good friends Haley at Saxon over at Wild Oak Trail sent these to me to use and give them a review. I'm sure it's going to be good. So Wild Oak Trail is a site that sells preparedness supplies. You can find the dehydrated meals in bulk packages. You can find, you know, your solar generators, anything that you might need for preparedness. You never know when that tornado, that hurricane, that earthquake, that tsunami is going to strike. You're going to need to be prepared. And having some shelf-stable foods on hand and... Lordy, a solar generator like the Rock Pals that I've got uh, is going to be extremely useful. All right, so head over to Wild Oak Trails, check out their site, and give them some business. Tell them I sent you. Use the link in the description, and I'll get a little bit of a a little bit of a commission, and I can buy some treats for Summit. All right, thank you very much. So the directions for rehydrating this meal couldn't be a lot simpler. You bring two and a quarter cups of water to boil. And you stir in the contents well. And then I'm going to reduce the heat to a simmer and cook it for about 15 minutes, stirring frequently. Makes two servings. I will probably have leftovers. So this is thickened into a stew kind of a consistency. And I do believe that that is ready to eat. At least it's good enough for me. It's starting to get dark. That really smells good. All right, now for the taste test. Mmm. That's really good. Good spicing. Good texture. I like this. Mmm. Okay, time for me to chow down. Time to say goodnight. So tomorrow we're going to do a hike. Um, I'll see you for breakfast. Good night.
ready for breakfast? Of course you are.
All right, gang, coffee was good, breakfast was good. Now it's time to get a little exercise. So I'm at the McQuaid Creek Trailhead of the Middle Santiam Wilderness Access, which is right here. We are in the Willamette National Forest. Right here is the trailhead. So my information is telling me that it's about a six mile trek to get to the border of the wilderness. And that's a little bit too much for my dog. That's a 12 mile round trip and I'm not gonna put her through that. Today is also the birthday of a very special girl. And so I need to get back to town so I can place a phone call. So we're gonna go out and get some exercise and then we're going to pack up camp and head out. All right, here we go. Thirsty girl. <laughs> All right. Here we go.
All right, well, that was a fun little walk. So, a couple of problems with this weekend. It's very smoky. I woke up this morning to ash all over everything. It is fire season. So, another thing is, today is the opening of deer season. And I'm not wearing a red vest or a red hat. And I don't want to get mistaken for a deer and get shot out there. So... Uh, what we're going to do is pack it up and head out so I can say happy birthday to my special girl. And next week, we're going to go out again. So until next time, take a hike. But be careful during deer season. Be blessed. <laughs>